Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Good morning, Tigers. I'm Kyla. And I'm Casey. And I'm Kyla. Today is <laughs> Monday, December 22nd. Today is Social Studies Collaboration Day. After today's ACT vocab word, we have a heads up on some events happening over break. Plus, some kudos for some people. Roll the tape. Today's ACT word? Tenacious. Meaning? Determined, keeping a firm grip on. Despite failing first quarter, she was tenacious in her study second quarter and passed her class with a C. You're gonna go. The weekend's magical dinner was a great success. Kudos to all who were involved, especially our royal court. Zane Dukes, our scriptwriter, costume organizer Mary Onstead, and all of the booster parents who have spent countless hours in preparation for this special event. Thank you. Remember to sign up for musical auditions. <laughs> Please sign up for both a music audition and an acting audition. If you are interested in being part of the tech crew, come to one of the acting time auditions. Auditions will take place the week we come back from break. The sign up is outside on Mr. Phillips' door. Hey, wrestling fans! The wrestlers will next be in action at UW Eau Claire on Saturday, December 27th. Wrestling starts at 9.15 a.m. Girls Hockey will host Rapids tomorrow night, and then it's on the road to Beloit on January 2nd. The boys won't have a game until January 2nd either. That game will be in the Milt Lenda Arena. Basketball fans will have to get their fix tonight as the boys take on Royal and the girls play at Lacrosse Central. The boys will play at Thorpe before we return to school on January 3rd. JV will play at 4.45 and Varsity at 6.30 p.m. at Thorpe. To wrap things up, we have a cut in the act. It's from Miss Schick to Mr. Lionel Sanchez for cleaning up a giant mess of dishes that many students over the whole day left in the sink. Amazing work, sir, and thank you so much. Well, that's it. Stick around. Tushan learns what it means to give a holiday gift. Well, kind of. Have a great day, Tigers. Here you go, Celia. Here you go, Liz. Here you go, Dylan. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, man. A sponge. It's dirty. And batteries. A sock and a comb. Why is there only one? This is your comb. Really? A tennis ball and a sock? I don't play tennis and you only got me one sock. Yeah, so you can clean your house and, well, have some batteries for later, you know? Yeah, I mean, well, I don't really know where the other sock went. I thought you liked tennis, though. I don't even play tennis. What's up, man? Well, what's the point of giving gifts if they don't even like them? <laughs> well, what are you talking about right now? I gave Liz and Dylan and Celia gifts and they didn't really appreciate it. Well, what were the gifts? It was a sock and a comb and even a tennis ball. <laughs> tennis ball. That's not too bad, I guess. I mean, it's not really, you know, the holidays aren't just about gifts. It's all about the meaning and the thought and, you know, just having people to spend it with, bro, so, you know. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, Mom. Thanks. Thanks. Hey guys, I got a new gift. It's a gift of joy. You can't even get a real gift? I mean, it's, a, it's an imaginary gift. Just can't make everybody happy.